Good morning, good morning. Hello, hello. Happy Wednesday. Oh my God, I've got to go to work. Right, so I'm going to do a really quick house to office makeup. So you can come and help me do that. And the appreciation jar is open. So this is brand new. Um, basically, if you share this video, come back and comment shared, you'll get an entry into the appreciation jar because I do appreciate you. I love you. Thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. Um, but if you could share it out, that would be even better and you get that entry. And once I get to a thousand shares, I will be doing a look good, feel good bundle for a lucky winner. Um, so yeah, share away. Um, right, I am going to need some glow. So I've had these on for about 20 minutes. These just get rid of that wrinkly side eye. It's amazing. It's like magic for your eye holes. And I just do the kids breakfast and all that with these masks on. Um, and I'm going to go with Illuminizing Primer first. So you don't need loads of this. I might need a little bit more than that actually. I could have a bath in it honestly. It's so good. Um, I'd never used an Illuminizing Primer before and I honestly didn't know what it did. Watch this. Not only does it like act as a really good base for your makeup, but you want to see the glow that you get. Honestly, I could have a bath in it. I actually wear this now on days when I've not put any makeup on because it like gets rid of the pores, the fine lines and wrinkles, but well, you know, like reduces the appearance of them. Um, but it gives you this glow look. Oh my god, I could bath in it, honestly. I've, how have I never used an illuminizing primer and I'm 43? Like, what planet have I been on? It's gorgeous. Right, so that's on. First day back in the office is going to be BB cream. This is what I wear most of the time, to be honest. It's SPF 30. But you know the way you always think SPF is sticky and your makeup slides off. I, I have I've always wanted to put SPF on my face because I know you should because it's good. It protects you from UV rays and stops fine lines and wrinkles forming. But I've always found SPF really sticky. Mineral SPF is completely different. It's not sticky. So when they first launched a BB with SPF, I was a little bit panicky. I was like, oh God, don't make the makeup sticky. But mineral SPF isn't sticky. So winner, winner, chicken dinner. Um, so I'm going to just use BB cream with SPF. So we've got anti-aging going on. A bit of It's got sodium hyaluronate in it as well, which is one of my favourite skincare ingredients. So it's handy to have in your makeup so that you're getting skincare benefits at the same time as looking half decent do you know what i'm obsessed with the natural look now it's weird how you how your style changes like in my 20s i was all about that poreless do you know like dry matte finish and now i couldn't be more different i'm like all about the glowy healthy skin you know like the glowy all about the glowy skin dewy fresh yeah, I would have died in my 20s if you'd not had a really dry, poreless face. But yeah, things change, don't they? I'm now about the hydrated, healthy look. Now, if you don't like the feel of makeup, you'll love this BB cream because it's not... It's much better than a tinted moisturiser, but your skin feels like your, skin, your own skin. Do you know what I mean? You don't feel as though you caked in makeup and you can still see your own skin through it, which is just perfect. Now, what I do just to give it a little bit of something is I use these three colour sticks, which a couple of them you've not been able to get for a while because they were limited edition in the black friday bundles but they've just launched for individual sales so if you love if you've been wanting these you can grab them now so i use one called barely blonde barely bronzed I was using cinnamon latte but now i use barely bronzed um and i just do now if you don't know where your cheekbones are just feel and that's where you want to do your half line. Cheekbone, half line. And then under your jawline, just for a little bit of definition to your jaw. Um, I'm going to grab a pink one, puny pink. 
for the blush and I know this looks crazy but it's honestly the quickest thing you can do for like the healthy glow in the morning and it just it doesn't take long and it you just got to trust the process I know it looks weird right now but it works out really glowy and fresh I do put a little bit on the top lip this is the champagne shimmer one which is very similar to my old highlight stick that I used to use so I use the same foundation brush and the good thing is if you like skirt a contour this is like the beginner's way because you're not left with any any weird lines it just warms your face up this will just give you a little bit of definition to your jaw and I'm still using the same brush as my foundation just on the side just blend that upwards you're left with no line, just a little bit of definition to your cheek. And you see, we've not got any crazy orange lines, but what we have got is a little bit of definition to the cheeks. And then with that blush, all, all I do is dab it out. Dab I absolutely love how simple that is to do. Gives you a little bit of definition, warms everything up. Just perfect. Now, I'm going to just add two things to this. That's my Quadra. Um, this is the Lash Growth System that I've been using. So, I've switched from using just a mascara, which was the 4D. Absolutely love it. But, if you're someone who's like me, damaged your lashes... This actually grows your own lashes back. So this is a Lash Primer Lash Growth Serum. It's a mascara and it's got tubing. Now the tubing, it's like, it's a bit of a geeky science bit, but it wraps around each individual lash and um, protects it and conditions it. So over 12 weeks with this, you do start to see, because it stimulates your own follicles for your lashes to grow. So it is, I mean, it's not for everybody. If you're not trying to grow your own lashes back, I would say stick with the 4D. That is a banging mascara, decent price point. But if you're wanting to grow your own lashes, this is a little bit more expensive. But in comparison to buying yourself a primer to condition, a growth serum to grow your lashes, a mascara to, you know, four things in one it's actually half the price of buying all those four um and for me because i'd worn a lot of party lashes in my 20s i had thinned out my lashes quite badly so this is helping to this is helping to restore them and grow them back so the brush is a little bit different to what you might have seen it's got long bristles on the bottom and short bristles on the top so I tend to do the long bristles first then you don't need to dip it back in the wand you just in the tube you just turn it over and blink and it picks up all the little lashes in between and it keeps them all separated out look at that hey Marie hey Vaughn good morning good morning good morning don't forget my brand new appreciation jar is open so if you do share my video and come back and comment shared um you'll get an entry into the appreciation jar um because i do appreciate you oh marie guess what it's work day it's work day so i've, I've made my drink in my bottle today so that i can drink it on the way to work on the way to flipping work how am i back to work already i'm just hoping the traffic isn't bad kids annoyed me a little bit this morning so i've made them walk to grandma's i'm not dropping them off i can't be doing when they're acting you know like I, you know when kids are dicks in the morning my kids were being dicks this morning so it's raining a bit and I've made them walk to grandma's. Is that harsh? I don't care. I needed them out of my face while I got ready for work and she is literally around the corner, so. Hey, 
Right, so long bristles first. It just comes out nice and wispy. I love it. Oh, Marie, you're not about to look. Oh, Marie. Jealous. Jealous. I should have booked it off. But I have got, oh, look at that. Nice and wispy. I'm going to put a little bit on the bottom. Um, I have got quite a few trainings to catch up on. So actually, I am going to refuse to be stressed by the traffic. And I am going to use the time wisely to catch up on something. You know, I am going to fill my mind with good stuff like business strategies energy i am going to be like fired up by the time i get to work i'm determined right i'm going to just have my collagen shot because like if you've been watching my skin journey over the last couple of years you will know that this face is not what you saw <laughs> two years ago like my skin was like super dull super dry like fine lines and wrinkles i was starting to look my age and this little packet of magic is what's given me my face back feet back hands back all of the stuff <laughs> and it tastes absolutely freaking amazing it can take like I would say it's really funny because I get asked all the time how long does it take to work I could feel a difference in my hands within seven days I would say it was around day 21 to 30 where you could really see it in a picture um but yeah so many things happen when you supplement with a high quality marine collagen supplement because it just plumps everything back up age reversing technology in a drink everyone needs it if you're over 25 honestly can't recommend this highly enough mm. listen you can't don't judge i have to roll the packet up because i'm just like i'm not wasting one little drop mm of that not a flipping chance oh, now the other one i'm taking this is a little bit of a secret yet but that's the clue hormone balance um i i've been feeling like i'm in pre-menopause for a while now i've been getting a bit of irregular periods I, I don't know whether i am or i'm not the doctor's done a blood test and said i'm not but I keep coming on early. There's something going on with my cycle, whether it's pre-menopause or not. Either way, it's frustrating because I'm coming on five days, six days early. This has got phytoestrogen, which is plant-based estrogen in it, um, and other ingredients that are supposed to balance out your cycle. So this is meant to help with hormonal acne, bloating, cramps, all that kind of thing and anything associated with your menstrual cycle. So for me, I don't get any of the other symptoms really of my cycle, but just the irregularity that's occurring at the moment is why I'm testing it out. So I'm tracking my cycle and I'll give you some feedback. If anyone does want any more information on it, let me know. You can't get it just yet. Um, and I am tracking to see if it has any improvements for me. Um, and it tastes like it says, Aronia Berry. Um, I'm going to keep the packet this way so you can't see the name. Mm. Oh, I can't think what that tastes like. That reminds me of something. I don't know if it's cherry. Not hundred percent sure. It's a bit of a, a bit of a thinner consistency to the collagen that I take. It's a sweet taste though. It's nice. Anyway, who cares? I'd be drinking it if it tasted like anything. Quite frankly, if it sorts out my cycle. Um, but yeah, it's quite a sweet berry, sweet cherry maybe taste. Anyway, right. Let's sort these lips out. Um, I am gonna do. A little bit of lip butter 
So I quite like a pop of colour but something that's hydrating. I don't want anything to dry my lips out in winter because I get this, you know, little... Does anyone else get that? It's so annoying. Um, can't find my lip exfoliator. It's around here somewhere but it's not too bad this morning. But if you do get that, I tend to have... I usually have two or three... Two or three by my side. I don't know what I've fucking done with them. I don't know what I've done with them. Anyway, mine's not too bad this morning, as you can see. If you do struggle with that, <clears throat> like a sugar scrub, the best thing to do with dead skin is get it off straight away because you're never going to heal it back to life, if that makes sense. <clears throat> I do, you know, moisturising it, you know, like putting a mask on it is not going to help until you've got the dead skin off. So I would exfoliate if you do get that. And then just use hydrating things on your lips if your lips are if you're struggling. So I'm using these lip butters because they've got shea butter, vitamin E, everything that's going to hydrate your lips. Um, and then I put over the top a lip mask as well, which has got squalane in it, which really softens uh, and hydrates. So I love that these come in loads of colours as well. So. I'm just feeling this colour for winter. It's called Sipping Sunshine. I'm looking out the window. <laughs> I'm looking out the wet window and I'm sipping sunshine. I love that. I love that. Right, and I'm going to put a little bit of extra hydration over the top with this lip mask because why not? Let's face it. Let's, let's just up all the hydration while it's cold and minging. Right, ladies, have an amazing day. And Marie, enjoy your last few days. I am very jealous. You'll be able to get all your planning done, all your business planning. Um, oh, I'm excited. I'm excited for this year. Mm. God, that's amazing. What a drink. Marie, if you haven't tried your trim and greens warm, go try it, try it. <laughs> right, have an amazing day um, and I'll see you all really soon. See you later.